What's up? So we lost half our crew. Uh, turns out that I did not know that Lewis was in pre-check and I walked right by with our three passports and tickets. And then I was like, well, where is he? Where did he go? And he calls me like, and I was like, ah, sorry. Also, we have Solomon with us, but he's going somewhere else. And his, we were hoping his gate would be right by ours because it's the same airline, but his gate is like a million years away. So I don't know if we'll see him either. We won't see him for like a month. And then, uh, we're chilling. His is like C30 and ours is B2. We're like already at our gate basically. I know, we're just waiting for Lewis, even though, I don't know, if I was him, I would have an attitude. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Got some food. Potato, potato, potato. What's up there in the model with baby? Made it, 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 made it. Are both of them not wearing their mask properly? I'll fix that. Ta da! So we'll take two. I can't open the damn email. Whoa, I'm hot. Say hi. 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 Welcome back to our channel. And pistachios, I got them all in my teeth. Great. We're waiting for, what is her name again? Martha. Martha, Martha is nice. That's very know nice. Who she is. So. She is a fellow Midwestern gal. I have no clue what that means, but she's nice. <laughs> she's a creative director. She's the one who comes up with the ideas for all this. She's great. Guys, we've arrived. And I gotta tell you, I've never been in a place like this before. So it's a tiny boutique hotel. Well, not tiny, but all, you know, tiny. Okay. Let's just walk in, right? You ready? Okay, we're gonna walk in. Okay. I'm not gonna go, like, in slow-mo here. I just assume very... <gasps> bugs everywhere, but um, it's because it's very much like indoor-outdoor. There's a little... Hi! Baño over here, right? You got a little step. Obviously, all the pink and the decoration and it's a lot more lively in person, but it comes with Crocs. <laughs> Here is a bedroom, right? We've got the menus, we got all of our stuff. We have <laughs> a little trail of ants. This is our bed, and then this is the kids' area. Again, <laughs> the kids are absolutely obsessed right now. They're like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, it's amazing, and it really is. Like, this is a bomb. <laughs> And this is not like a typical resort kind of hotel. This, I think, is our closet. This has all of our stuff in it, along with, of course, some raid and some extra pillows. I dig it, I dig it. Amazing, like this reminds me of the really fancy-ass houses in Mexico, like, like 
in, well, I guess in other parts of Jalisco, actually. I forget that we're in Jalisco. And so over this, you have like the natural skylight. So it's beautifully lit. I love the colors. The whole entire place is like this, like these colors. And then you have a shower room. It's amazing, it's amazing right? The cold coats. So they gave us another bathroom. And, you know, obviously regular little mini bar and stuff. But look at this. This is this is part of the room. But did you see what's around the side? Look at this. We're literally like on the beach. No, not the day bed. Did you keep going? Did you go any further? Yeah, the hot tub. You saw the hot tub? What? Oh well, Jaden was. Chef's kiss, she says. Can I put my um, hands in the middle? Yeah, you can put your swimsuit on. Also, you have to try a coconut. It's so hot, though. <laughs> try a coconut. It'll make a reaction. You can actually eat it, too. I know. Y'all, this is like the best cut. You like it? Like, it's just a perfect salsa like on the top. It's like a sweet. It's like sweet. It's like takes me back. And the moms and dads would bust them open like this for us. It's like water that's sweet. With like a tangy taste, kind of. Like a tropical taste. Who says this place is better than Hawaii? And I haven't even, I haven't even been to Hawaii. I love how spread out it is. It's kind of different. I guess there's two restaurants. You can also legitimately walk to the beach. You can get that mask tan on. You can get the mask tan on. I am not getting a mask tan. Coconuts. I need to get changed too. I'm literally obsessed though. Like I completely understand why we came here. You know, like it's all coming together now, Shug. Looking good, cutie pie. I know. Let me send a pic to Grandma and Gramps. Calm down. Calm down. Do me a favor. Plug in my phone. There's cord right there. I mean, holes right there. We're just gonna show you guys how I packed the kids' stuff because I never showed you before I left. So, looks like this. This is one side. So, you guys are gonna help, right? This goes in the bathroom. This goes in the bathroom. So, your guys' is deodorant and stuff. That one over there, go ahead and put it on the table. There's only which bathroom? The big one. Put it on the table, okay? That's our son's stuff. This is the stuff they actually take like to a pool. This is just extra sunscreen, afterburn cream, stuff like that. It's all sun stuff. And then as you see, we have Nala's pajamas. We have Nala's swim. We have Jaden's swim. Those are my little bloating pills. We have shoes. You're gonna go ahead and line these up against the wall. Each one, okay? Line them up, line them up right against the wall. Can we just put them in the little yeah, just sit them there. But get a swimsuit if you want it. But you're also gonna you're gonna do all this first. You can just put it on for now. These are Nala's clothes. These are literally all of her clothes. And then these are her undies and her bras with her socks. These are Jaden's clothes, and every single outfit is wrapped. So it, the entire like outfit that he needs, there's six rolls. It's six outfits. I have a tiny bit of extra clothes for them because I bought some stuff specifically for the shoot. Um, and then these are Jaden's chonchiam, chon chon chons. Those are Jaden's chonies and pijamas. Yeah, but you're not gonna open everything, right? And Jay, that's not where the shoes go. That's where the clothes goes. The shoes go on the floor. Line them up nice and nice and right, and then boom. This one is gonna be unpacked. That's how we do it. I highly suggest packing cubes. Yes, I'm quite an organizer. <laughs> but doesn't it make your life a lot easier too? Yes. Exactly. You think you wouldn't do it, but some people are just naturally prone to it. Yeah, I kind of am. I don't like messy stuff. Exactly. Oh, look what I found. Look at this. Do you know what this is? It's literally fresh Jamaica. I mean, yeah, we made a mess. It's really hard to pour, but that that is my favorite agua fresca like ever, right? Jamaica or chata? I don't know. He doesn't like it. I know he doesn't like it. I don't get it. I don't get it either. It's so good. I ate the flour from that once. Shouldn't do that, but it is good. 
Lewis wouldn't be Lewis if he wasn't on the beach shadow boxing the earth. I left our camera in the room, but we're gonna go take a, a browse. That is the pool right there. We found it. Time to go. Like I'm starving. Ocean. These people don't care. That looks like an ocean. These kids don't care about me. I do. I do. Also, um, if you haven't had, had Himalaya yet, you have to have Not called Himalaya. It's not even cute to me that you guys don't know it. It's Jamaica. It's Jamaica. Thank you. It's spelled Jamaica. Jamaica, but Jamaica. Wow. It really just gets better and better. I'm going to have to do wide angle the whole time I'm here so you guys can see this. This is freaking gorgeous. I did find a lizard in my bathroom next to the toilet while I was on the toilet. So, spooked the poo right out of me. And there is LG. You guys see him? Can you spot him? Where's Waldo? What is that? Where's LG? Cute little chairs. Where's what? What are you guys looking at? Beach and pool. I love it. We might go to the beach later, but I'll have to go in with like Lewis. One thing to note, there's basically no internet here. Um, it's okay with me and the only reason I would really want it is because like there's no TV either <laughs> I mean maybe there's supposed to be there is a t TV like in the room but we can't figure out how to make anything come on it would it would be nice to let the kids watch something like you know um while we're chilling but it is what it is so I was like cool we'll have four like kind of unplugged days yeah and then and then we'll go to the other resort for like two days and they can have their regular life over there. I am super hungry though. <sighs> I want to eat. But now we're going to have to go back and change because these little monsters are in the pool. Where'd they go? Pool monsters. My little monsters. They're in the pool and obviously I'm all wet. What? Tastes weird. Don't taste it. We've awakened the next day. Got my little bag packed for today. We were actually supposed to start. We gotta keep this closed. Sorry, world. Cause uh, the air conditioning is only in here. Um, yeah. We pushed our call time this morning to the afternoon, thank God, cause I was so tired. I mean, I would've made it work, but it's so hot in the afternoon, so we're actually gonna start this evening. Scared Jaden a lot, though. It wasn't a snake, it was a rolled up bit of weave. It was great. To scare you, not that your headphones should not be on the floor. Also, your bedding shouldn't be on the floor. Don't act like maniacs while you're here. Come on. I gotta lay out their clothes to see what the stylist thinks is the best fit for the outfit. So, I'm gonna start doing that. And I ordered breakfast, so that should be here pretty soon. But it looks like I got some. I hope when I get any more. I've had my fill. Oh, another day, another trip to the pool. Since call time's later, I can hang with the kids for a bit, go to the pool. We just had breakfast. I am very full. <laughs> Hope that goes away a little bit <laughs> in the next two hours or so. Tell them I'll just chill with them. I think Lewis is coming too, but we were getting impatient. I will say I'm surprisingly okay thus far. I mean, knock on wood, right? With the bug insect like animal kind of in the room situation we've had a few critters i mean the insects is one thing right beetles and ants and um just little stuff like that but then you have like a blizzards and robbie the stylist she said she had crabs in her room i was like crabs oh no we're getting a little getting a little off kilter here i don't know about that one um but we'll see what else shows up. All right, off to the pool for a bit. I don't think I can get in, like, I'm so full. I was just like, sorry, eat, because a lot of times when we do this, right, we do shoots like this, I am starving. By the end of the day, it is like painful, um, and it makes, it translates. That's all I ever care about. Like, does the pain, does the uncomfortableness of one thing or another, the shoes, whatever, is it translating to what you can see? 
because if it is then I need to fix it but if it's not then you know move along be prof professional be as professional as possible I love this you do have a gym here right like Louis is working out and stuff but he just does with the room but the gym they said oh you want to work out climb this hill to get to the gym let's find out if you really about that life I'm not oh are they watering this I was like, what is this, like a microclimate? It's only raining in here? Everyone's advising me not to burn again. Which is probably a good idea since I have to shoot today. So I'm gonna go sit in the shade, I think. But man, I gotta tell you guys, I have missed traveling so much. I didn't think I did, because I love being home. I absolutely love being home. I have found a lot of joy in my home. But um, just traveling and taking the kids other places and just getting out of our routine, especially here because there's no Wi-Fi, there's no TV, there's no anything. You're just with each other. And um, obviously I'll be working here in a, in a couple of hours. I will pretty much become nonstop until Saturday morning when I'm off the clock basically. Um, but it's been nice it's just it's nice to just kind of like enjoy each other the setup Sarah's fan cam. This is Martha coming at you. Wow. Wow. This is Sarah's fan cam. What? Oh my gosh, she's my favorite. Oh, I'll edit it. What song? She's the biggest fan. I love her so much. I mean, watch her. I love Sarah Hargett. I met her last year in Chicago. She was so nice to me. Her hair looks amazing. I hear she's. We have EXO. We have. What? Connie's been sliding in her DMs. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work now.
end of day one of actually shooting tomorrow. We're gonna, we tomorrow's the big day. We got the hack. Man, it's yeah. so whizzy. Kids got to hang out in the presidential suite, which has suite. AC, whiffy, a lot of bottles of water, a lot of people, all that. Look at this highlight, it's so funny, because all the makeup melts off right here, and it just disappears, but like in the photos, it looks totally fine. I have braids in my hair still, because he's gonna have to braid the weed back in tomorrow, or the clip-ins, he puts them in there. So freaking smart. It's great so that you can, ew, so that you can um, blend, because my hair's so hard to blend, so he just braided my real hair up, and I was like, you're blowing my mind right now, that makes so much sense. This is one of the looks. This is actually supposed to be like a cover-up, but it works as an actual dress if you want. But obviously it's just this really shimmery like caftan, and it's so... It's a little bit seasoned though. It's supposed to go over a swimsuit. Hmm. But I have it over a bra and shapewear, and you can't really tell that that's what's going on. Or you could wear a bodysuit or whatever. It's 5 o'clock, 5.45 or something like that. I just woke up. I am trying to give myself a tiny boost of energy or something. I don't have any caffeine, and I'm not gonna have any, probably for like at least another hour and a half, because the kitchen's not open. I'm gonna eat a little bit of chocolate, see if it helps. The sugar, obviously. Mmm. <laughs> anyway. Time to start day two of shooting. I have like 15 looks today. So many bugs. I'm gonna shake out everything before we go home. Mm -mm. I don't need to take home any little Mexican fritters. I guess I could drink a Coke. Who wants a Coke at 5.45 of the wedding? I'll wait for my coffee, but had to hair and makeup. And we're walking to our first shot of the day. By we, I mean I. It's the bathing suit shot. This bathing suit was um, so fun. Ah, almost died. To design, not dramatic at all. I can't be walking in flip flops so dog like. I looked all over for Jaden's Crocs and find them mad because I hate walking in flip-flops the little like nubs and things ain't it um I think they said we're shooting behind my room so I'm just gonna run through my room and see if I can find his Crocs anyway so fun to design I really wanted something like sheer but where you wouldn't necessarily feel naked you know what I mean Jean and we have accomplished that. the airplane stuff like as much as I would have loved to vlog that oh my gosh it was just not gonna happen it was dumb hot zero shade anywhere it looked cute I think but like the runway is all rock so it was pretty treacherous um, and then you know just trying to walk through it with heels and being kind of um, so warm and stuff it was a I hope it came out well um, and the kids were there and like, you know, it was, it was tough on them, but we're back now. I'm chilling right now. Chilling. Jay's Crocs. Shout out to Jaden for letting me borrow his shoes. We are going to get touched up and then get back to being part of the glamorous slide here. We got just a few more shots, guys. And then that's it. It's a wrap. This outfit is so cute and we didn't really... I'm all, I'm all discombobulated right now, but we didn't really get like a ton of, ton of, ton of shots in it. Just because, like I said, it was, it was tough out there. It was hard. Uh, but 
it's so cute it's so comfortable i freaking love it i love this collection so much it's like got so much more of me in it like through and through every single piece is just srv approved but like i just want to show you that nowhere you sit is like not ridiculously scenic look at that dolphin look at this this is just where i'm chilling just waiting for someone to come back to the room waiting for xo to come back to the uh touch up my makeup it's all so beautiful so beautacious baby good morning i'm so tired oh my god my feet and my legs hurt my um calves were cramping all night from like the strain from yesterday but anyway still very excited <laughs> so um i'm repacking because um uh, lewis and the kids well everyone's leaving today but we're gonna leave to another resort for two nights so that i can actually hang with the kids and stuff because i didn't spend a ton of time with them while we were here um so i'm repacking yes, I did fall. I fall. Yeah, I'm you gotta move more to the middle there you go don't mess with her, Jaden. Don't touch her, Jaden. You got it. You gotta, you gotta move to the middle. She said she's chilling. Yeah, she's chilling. She's chilling. Friends, we're in a new place now. Oh. I'm gonna get into this later. And guess what? It's like being at home. <laughs> uh, the kids are digging it like a grave. We're gonna go to the pool. It's why I'm dressed like this. Waiting on LG. He went to go get us some money. Um, because I ran out. I forgot to go to the bank before I left. I ran out. But, um, I booked, woo, I booked this place last minute. Uh, because I didn't know the exact dates that we would be out here and so we're only gonna stay for two days for two nights um, But I just wanted to have a little bit of you know vacay time with kids and Lewis and stuff without Work and I was like, let's change location and baby. This is so beautiful Like stop. I so I really didn't even look into this place, right? I was just like, okay, it's available. It's an all-inclusive I, I had like filtered, you know, like four or five stars and above and I just picked one that was available and it's gorgeous. Look at all the flowers on all of the rooms. Look at these, like the pools are so pretty. We already went to that restaurant because um, our room wasn't quite ready because we got here early. And um, still that was like so beautiful. And like, I mean, not the restaurant is beautiful. The restaurant was beautiful actually, but it's so pretty. And then the beach is so nice and they're jet skiing and stuff. And so the kids will probably go out and they've never jet skied. So they can probably go out with Lewis because I'm not about that life. I did it and I did it with him and I don't want to do it again. So we're about to go hit this pool and chill. I think I'm gonna read a book and the fan bam's gonna do what they do. Look at my beautiful baby. Look at my beautiful babies. The lighting is bad, but they're beautiful. I love that there's no windows. Yeah, I could lift that one. I know for sure this one. Yeah, because it's that fall. I'm just gonna say for sure. I'm not even gonna guess. I'm just gonna say for sure. And I'm gonna say nobody's open. Ooh. Exactly. Uh, that's gonna be awkward. No. Nah. <laughs> but I wish someone would have been on it. And I wish they would have been in a rush. They would just see. You can do that again when I'm coming back up. Oh my gosh. Look in the VI. It looks so funny. I look. Amazingly beautiful. It's like 10 years. Yeah. Confidence on 20. One, two. So the kids like escargot. I think I might. I don't know. I thought you just had one. I did. I think I like it. I'll just say one. I just saw you. I told him to trust me. I just saw you put your arm back. Come on, man. I actually ate it. I'm leaving my hands on the table now. For the first time. I thought you had some just a second ago. I did. Oh, and you liked it. It's not as hot anymore. I just had one. Oh, okay, look, look. Point the camera at Lewis. Uh -huh. I'm stretching, man. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Why are you shouting? Did you 
Yeah. The bread was really good, and the food was really good, and I had tuna tartare, and that was really good, and Jay's onion soup is really good. Oh my gosh. Again, it's literally all so good. Um, medieval times. Yeah. 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 Y
So the two adventurers headed off into the city. Not yet, buddy. No, and me and my best good pal. Oh my gosh, it feels so much better out here. It's freezing in the room. We have it set. Ooh, okay. Hi, humidity. So Jay and I got room service. It was actually delicious. Don't let this weird looking soup fool you. Um, it was fire. It was like a Thai soup. Jay got pizza <clears throat> and etc. I got cafe, right? And I like literally drank the whole thing already because I'm in desperate need. Anyway, look at how it pours out. Like Hello. perfectly, perf perfectly creamed already. This is the last bit. Mmm. This one's still warm. Here, it's hot a little bit. You can have it. It doesn't have any like sugar, but it's like coffee and milk, and it's just so perfect. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> That silent laugh. Or just like that thing you know it's real. <laughs> They're just like Well, it's a video, so Yeah, I'm a rock star, baby. I'm a rock star guy too. Back in the room. So uh me, Dal and Jay, nope. Me, Jaden, nope. Me, Lewis, Jaden, nope. Lewis, Nala, and myself. <laughs> Okay, um, we was feeling that bed dirt girl for a while. Um, we went to eat downstairs. Joe was passed out, so he said he wanted to stay and sleep. And we went to eat downstairs, and then let me just itch my butt cheeks right now. Can you see me itching? Like right under my butt is so itchy. And um, it was nice though, nice restaurant and all that. And then we came back up here, and they had been out like in the city, wandering around doing whatever they were doing. And we came back up here and they were like, let's go downstairs. Let's listen to the music. Da, 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 da. You know, they always have like little um, shows and concerts. And so there's people down there playing music and dancing and stuff. The two of them took off. And I was like, peace. I'm getting in this bed. So I hopped in the shower. And I've been kind of running around like, you know, plugging in stuff for the kids. Especially for this kid who is knocked out. Who is going to be sad when we're on a plane tomorrow and, you know, his headphones are in charge or his Nintendo is in charge or something. Um, but speaking of that stuff, can I just put you down for a second? Is that a good, is that a good angle? <laughs> no, we know it's not. Um, but I told, I, ha I did have to like have one talk with the kids because that last place that we went to, you know, it didn't have TV, it didn't have internet. And I kind of just had to explain to them like the point of traveling is not to get to use your iPad in a different country or state or whatever you know um it's about like experiencing a different place and sometimes it's just about relaxing and it's just about spending time with people right like sometimes we go to resorts and sometimes we don't and sometimes when we go to resorts we still leave and explore the city and go do whatever um and sometimes we don't it just depends on the reason or kind of what we're feeling sometimes i just want to get away and chill and I just want to do so like in a relaxing kind of environment. Um, but I still want to get dressed up and like have fun and go on little dates and have special experiences and stuff like that. Um, so it all depends. Sometimes we go and we explore literally every day and it's tiring. You know, you get home tired from your vacation. Uh, so whatever, it's all different. But I just like tell the kids, I'm like, just so you know, the point of this vacation and any vacation you take with, me is never going to be so that you can test out Wi-Fi in Mexico and see how fast it is. So after we had that little talk, right? Because sometimes I think kids just need things put perspective just like we do as adults. Um, it's been fine. So I think this has been overall a really good trip. We still have pretty much most of the morning tomorrow. We're going to probably head to the airport like 11 something. Um, and so, you know, I'll, I'll do like the official final packing tomorrow, but then we get to go home and I'm excited to go home and I think the kids are actually, you know, they're like totally content with this ending where it's at. And I'm sure Lewis is totally happy to go home. So I'm excited for that. I don't know how long like, those, those two down there, they've been playing tag and running up and down the halls and I'm like, no thank you. 
not for me. Painfully, painfully bloated and cramped right now. Like, oh, I didn't expect it. This was unexpected. This was an unexpected visitor. My aunt wasn't supposed to come to town, but she came to town. Did not know she had a passport. She's got a passport. She's got a global entry. She's got it all. Last, Last day in the... paradise. Now I slept on the couch. Yeah, I think you should have just slept on the bed. It's the only thing. It's all good, man. You want to be tired. Get on that plane and... I fell asleep. Zonk. So... Early? Yeah. Katie couldn't have more energy. All right, breakfast is done. God damn. Does it, doesn't it look like I'm superimposing us here? Like, how is this even a real place? You know what? Sometimes I'm like, dang, why don't my pictures ever look like that? And then I'm like, you know what? It's because I don't live in, like, California. Like, when that's your backdrop all the time, stuff that looks like this, right? I mean, well, looks a little different out there. But it's that's, that's like, half the challenge. Meanwhile, I'm working with dead grass and snow. Dirty snow. Half the time. No hate to my city, though. I love it. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we're done. We had breakfast, and now we're going to go grab our bags. And uh, that's it. We're gonna head to the airport and we're all trying to guess what time we'll get home. What was your final guess? Walking through the door. 8.45? Oh, we're getting 30 minute windows. Nala said, Nala went through the whole day. Customs, luggage, getting from terminal five to terminal one, the train, yeah. <laughs> so Nala got us in at 8.30 to at nine. I'm not willing to quantify, but I'm I'm hoping before it's fully dark outside. Yeah. Wish us luck. Is it good to be home, buddy? It's amazing. Blah, blah. We were thankfully all wrong. We've been here for four minutes at least. Back home, back to our cats, back to our humble, humble, humble abode. Yeah, those weeds in the back grew like crazy. Holy cannoli, Lou's gonna have to get on that. All right, guys. It does kind of look nice, huh? <laughs> Those are nice weeds. Back home to our cats, back home to real life. Very excited. Yay.